A couple nights ago, I was watching Spider-Man 3. It was... awesome. But sometimes when my mind wanders, something strange I saw at one point in Melee pops into my head again. Often years after the fact, when nobody even remotely cares about it anymore. One such case happened recently, during my watching of Spider-Man 3. Now dig on this. Oh, Jesus. And it involved a certain cute little mid-tier. The only mid-tier in a long, long time to win a major. See? Mid-tiers can do it. What was the thing that popped into my head? It was this part of a match played at Smash and Splash 3 in 2017, where Axe, the Pikachu player, loses game one and is set against Duck in a very strange way. Oh, oh wow. No, Speaking of missing sweet spots. Wow. That is a weird glitch. Or is it? Let's go back and more closely examine this clip. When we rewind back to when Axe goes through, we can see that he's not just idly falling through the stage doing nothing, he's actually performing an aerial, back air. And with some light testing, we can see that when Pikachu does this move, he juts in either direction, while his ECB, a diamond that handles collision with the stage in Melee, is completely displaced from Pikachu's model, hitboxes, herdboxes, and all. Knowing this, we can easily recreate this weird battlefield glitch on any stage, though the illusion of simply phasing through a solid object like on Stadium is somewhat broken if the walls of the stage extend too far down, and instead more accurately show what's really going on. Not a glitch where you just fall through a stage, but rather a design decision where Pikachu's model doesn't match his collision box during his back air. The likely reason being somewhat obvious, to give Pikachu's otherwise short back air a bit of an extension. Here's something that's more recent, a clip of Bobby Big Balls playing against a Pikachu, and when his opponent tries to recover, what? Easy character. they're subjected to some true bullshit. But what's really going on here? Is it a certified Marth moment, or is it something else? Well, it starts becoming clear when we look at just what happens when Pikachu does his up special. It's hard to see at full speed, but here, slowed down by 90%, we can see much more clearly what's caused this strange interaction. During Pikachu's up B, his body stretches in both the horizontal and vertical directions, along with his hurt boxes, leaving Pikachu vulnerable far away, below, or above the stage for a few frames. Which is exactly what happened here. Pikachu was hit while he was stretched vertically. Going frame by frame, we can even see Pikachu extremely stretched on the frame before he's tippered. Marth Easy character? Well, yeah, but more accurately for this clip, Pika Stretchy character. Hey, here's a clip of Axe again. So like, I think Axe is going to win this. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Axe, Axe wants to... <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Let's go! Taunting an opponent's mistake right in their face. Simply diabolical. But for the uninitiated, part of what makes this clip really special isn't so apparent. In Melee, there are what are called IASA frames, short for Interrupt As Soon As, these allow certain moves to be interrupted by another action before their animation actually finishes. A pretty well-known move with this property is Marth's Down Tilt, which normally has an animation length of 49 frames, but can be interrupted as soon as frame 20. A huge difference in speed which allows for quick double pokes or a down tilt into a swift dashback, for instance. Pikachu, as well as Prikachu, are the only two characters in the game with IASA frames on their taunts, which allows for some pretty tricky baits on unsuspecting players. And in this clip's case, a quick wave dash away mid taunt to avoid a grab. Yeah, I, I mean, X, X wants to. <laughs> Yo! One last thing before I call it. Remember Samus's Super Wave Dash and Link's Super Wave Dash? Well, guess who else has one? 
Luckily, this one is much more simple to execute than the two previously mentioned. All you have to do is jump, up B into the ground with your initial burst and speed, then horizontally across the stage with your second, making sure during your second burst you collide with an attack that deals anywhere from 1 to 11%. And voila. This happens due to what's known as clanking, a mechanic causing two colliding attacks within 9% of each other to cancel out. If Pikachu clanks with something while he's up being along the floor of a stage, his up B animation will end, interrupted by a short rebound animation signifying a clank. But he'll maintain the momentum from his cancelled up B, resulting in a slide that's not only actionable for much of its length, but also goes further than Samus's equivalent tech. Video end. <clears throat> Big thank you to Dizzy, Grarlic, GR Smash, John O, John L, Josiah B, Kitty Cat Addy, LRC Napkin, Moa, Nerd, Pierce H, Piggy Tones, Sega Monkey, Self Die Man, Soleil Sorion, The Big Beano, Turn Down for Walt, and William A.